This video is going to be about steroids. So steroids are a type of lipid, uh, and we can easily identify molecules that are steroids because all steroids are going to have this uh, shared structure of four fused rings. And so the way that steroids are going to differ from one another um, is in the groups that are attached to these rings. So different steroids are going to have different things attached to different places on this um, four fused ring structure. So some examples of steroids are going to be things like cholesterol, which is important in our membranes and it's also um, important for our overall health, as well as things like our sex hormones, um, so things like testosterone, estrogen, um, things like that are also going to have this uh, four fused ring structure in them. So steroids, because they are lipids, are going to be um, hydrophobic, which means that they don't like water, they want to avoid water as much as they can. Um, because they are hydrophobic, steroids um, are able to go straight through our cell membranes. And so that is important when we get to um, cell signaling later on. So they don't need any help to get across our membranes. They can just go straight through because they are hydrophobic. And so that means that um, any receptors for these steroids are going to be inside of the cells as opposed to on the cell surface um, because, like I said, these are not going to stay on the surface of the cell because they're hydrophobic. So they want to get away from the water. So they want to go into the cell and through the membrane. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. Thank you.